Imagine with me a dream. A dream that takes you from your tribal village in Malawi across East Africa to Cairo, where you would then board a ship in hopes of, of getting an education in a country you've never been to, ever been to before. Now this was Lakes and Kiera's dream. It didn't start off like this. In fact, it started off a little bit more challenging. He had no money. He didn't even know what college he would go to. And he wasn't even accepted at any college. But he did have a dream. He didn't always have a dream, though. It wasn't until he was introduced to Abraham Lincoln, Booker T. Washington, that he really found the value in an education. It, it was here that his journey began. Five days later, 25 miles later, he's on his journey, and he begins to realize that he's running out of food and water, but he never gives up. He survives on berries, he finds work and shelter at each village, and even though he gets sick, he pushes onward, and he repeats to himself over and over again, I will not stop until I reach America, or at least I try. Fifteen months later, he arrives in Uganda. Here he finds work, and he regularly goes to his library and, 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 and hopes to research uh, for that perfect college. When he finds a college, it's Skagit Valley College. He writes the dean a letter in hopes of getting some help. The dean responds favorably. He accepts him, gives him a scholarship, and even gives him a job where he would work to pay for his room and board. He just needs his visa and birth certificate. With the help of his friends and, and some missionaries and, and family, he gets these things. And before he, 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 he makes his final journey to get on board, he says, I need to buy a pair of shoes. I can't go to the United States without shoes. So he gets this. And luckily for him, back in the States, these students had, had put together this fundraiser to help him pay for his airfare. So two years later, from his original goal, he arrives in the United States with new shoes and two books in hand. He goes on to become a professor at Cambridge University and becomes a respected author. Legs and Kiera walked 3,000 miles, more than 3,000 miles, across, across Africa for his dream. What will you do?